Cambodian coconut? Yes. Oh, nice. Lovely ladies. How much? One five thousand real. One five thousand real. Okay, sold. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another beautiful day here in the country of Cambodia. Today I'm talking to you guys from the capital city of Phnom Penh and I have an exciting video planned for you guys because I'm going to take you around and show you just exactly what you can find here in this beautiful city. Now today we're kicking off this video at one of the most iconic spots in the city. We are at Wat Nam, which is actually the temple that gave the city of Phnom Penh its name. So join me today as I take you guys around to explore this beautiful capital city located here in Southeast Asia. Now we're going to be doing this city tour on a $20 budget because as you guys know, I love seeing what $20 gets me in cities all around the world. Now here in Cambodia, the situation is quite different. It's kind of like Venezuela, kind of like El Salvador. And here, the country is, I would say, kind of dollarized. The US dollar is what gets moved around when you're making your purchases. But when you're getting change, you often receive Cambodian reals. Now what I have in front of me is actually 82,000 reals or 20 US dollars. And I have a feeling that we're gonna be able to get quite far with this amount of money here in the city. Now, as I mentioned, we're kicking off today's video here at the beautiful Wat Nam. The entrance to enter this temple is only one US dollar. So definitely a very cheap activity that you can do here in the city center. Now, Wat Nam was actually built in the year 1373 and it's actually built on top of an artificial 27 meter high hill. How crazy is that? Now inside of the temple, you're gonna find some beautiful murals that tell you a little bit about the history of the country. And what I love most about it is the huge pagoda that can be found directly behind it. Now what I actually just got done learning is that the pagoda is actually home to the remains of the last king that ran the city of Anchor. Now the reason why his ashes or remains are found here in Phnom Penh is because this is where the capital actually moved to when the Anchor Empire started to fall. How interesting is that? Now, right at the bottom of the temple, there's also this huge green space, or well, concrete slash green space. That makes for a nice place to hang out. There's some street food vendors out here selling snacks like balut and all kinds of other traditional breads and pastries. You can definitely spend a nice hour, hour and a half here. You can even spend a half a day just enjoying a small picnic on one of these grassy areas. However, an hour and a half will get the job done it's time for us to jump into a tuk-tuk and make our way over to the central market where we're going to go and buy ourselves a souvenir because we are on one of our last days here in Cambodia and a souvenir is something you must do. Oh man, the rain has come. All right, let's jump into tuk-tuk because it's about to start pouring. We are visiting right now during monsoon season and the rain pretty much starts to come in during the evenings. It is 12 right now, midday. And I have a feeling that the weather is not gonna cooperate with us today. So I'm gonna be switching back and forth today between the big camera and the GoPro because it is raining and the big camera is not waterproof, unfortunately. Hopefully they do make one of those pretty soon because I'm all about the quality content. So if the audio has changed, please forgive me. But right now we are using the Pass app, which is like the Uber here in Cambodia and we are ordering a tuk-tuk. I love using the Pass app because you don't have to sit down and negotiate a price with the tuk-tuk driver that is oftentimes gonna be quite expensive because they look at you like a foreigner that you are and right away try and hit you with a big price. So right now we just looked up that the Pass app is actually gonna cost us less than $1 to get us over to the central market. Wow guys, check this out. Look at the big pile of money. That's so cool, right? That is because here, well, a lot of people actually change US dollar to Cambodian real as a job. So you'll find people standing with these huge piles of money everywhere, making these conversions for you. How crazy is that? And oftentimes you get a better rate from these people than you do from like, um, yeah, an official business. So just a little pro tip to keep in mind. However, 
Do make sure you check your bills because I've heard a lot of tourists say that they've gotten scammed with fake money, but usually it's fake USD. The reals, I haven't heard of that happening. But just keep that in mind. Tuk Tuk should be here very soon. Just got dropped off here at the Central Market and as you guys can tell the rain has disappeared just like that it's absolutely crazy how the weather changes so much and so fast here in Cambodia now the Central Market is actually one of the bigger markets here in the city and when it was built it was actually the largest in all of Southeast Asia how crazy is that we're about to jump on the inside and I'm actually on the hunt just for a quick souvenir that way we can hop back into a tuk-tuk and make our way over to our next destination. But let me just go ahead and throw it on out there. You can easily spend hours inside of this market. We visited a few times already this week and every time you walk in there, you see so many new things, you get lost. It's a world on its own. It is definitely a great half day activity, even a full day activity. I mean, you can go in there and get some hair shampooing done, get your nails done, get a massage, a haircut, buy a fake Gucci bag literally everything so let's jump on inside entering the market is also one thing that is extremely difficult i mean look how do you navigate through this traffic you kind of just got to walk and hope that people stop for you now it's quite interesting as well because as soon as the tuk tuk dropped us off i actually spotted a rolls royce just sitting there right outside of the market here in cambodia it's actually quite shocking to see the drastic comparison between the rich and the poor there are rolls royces i've seen a lot of mclarens driving around the city right next to tuk tuks it's absolutely insane but right here where we're entering right now you can see that a lot of people are making like custom jewelry which is really really cool to see i've never actually been inside of a market where you can see the people completely placing their orders and having their jewelry made right in front of them. Of course, you can also find a lot of household products in here. And what a lot of you guys are probably interested in are all of the fake Gucci, Louis handbags that you can find inside of this market. I mean, look at all of these. Crazy, right? It's hard to believe that these markets exist but we're on the hunt for a magnet now inside of the central market you can actually find food court areas as well where they serve up some amazing cuisine as you saw a few days ago here on my channel i actually had some breakfast there a chicken noodle soup that was mind-blowing and there's also a fresh seafood market as well where you can buy all kinds of shellfish all kinds of fish and they sell them alive it's pretty incredible Do you have any magnets? Yeah. Oh, these are your magnets. Wow, I like them. Yeah, I have a lot of them. I've actually have a I actually have a lot with Anchor Wat. You don't have any from Phnom Penh? Yes, this is Phnom Penh. This is Phnom Penh. Yes. Oh, the Royal Palace, huh? Yes. How much is this one? Two piece one dollar. Two piece for one dollar? Okay, amazing deal. You know what? I think I'm gonna get two magnets. So I just found a souvenir stand. Now I actually came here a few days ago to buy some patches for my backpack. For those of you guys who have been following for a while, you know I buy a patch from every country in the world that I visit. Now I'm actually going to be buying myself a small little Phnom Penh Cambodia magnet from here. And I don't think I really need anything else. I actually bought a handful of magnets and seam reef from Anchor Y. I think we actually bought something like six of them. So I really don't need another one, but why not get one from the capital city? And you know what? I'm actually missing a patch as well. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get one right now since it is two for a dollar and just complete the dollar. So, um, excuse me, can I get the Italian patch? The small one? Yeah. I actually needed one from Italy. Mine has gotten damaged, that's on my bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and just swap it out. But how cool is that guys? A nice little souvenir for 50 cents. You really can't go wrong. So, so far we spent a dollar on a tuk-tuk, a dollar on a magnet, and a dollar on the entrance to Wat Nam. How cool is that? Magnet in hand, and I think we need something to cool off. You got some coconut water. Is it fresh coconut? A Cambodian coconut? Oh, nice. Lovely ladies. How much? One five thousand real. One five thousand real. Okay, sold. 
Buy one, get one. <laughs> Buy one, get one. Wow, what an amazing deal. Okay. No, I think I just need the one. <laughs> oh, you filming me, I film you. Okay, let's take a picture. Let's take a picture together. Let's see if Gladys can come over here. Gladys, we need help. Reinforcements. Come take a picture of me and my friends. Me and my lady Cambodian friends. Okay. Oh, she wants to take a picture of us. Oh, yeah, come in here with me. One, two, three. One more. One, two, three. Oh, what a classic. Uh, <laughs> All right, help me out a little bit, Gladys. Nice to okay, 5,000. Thank you so much. Nice to yeah. meet you. You guys are so sweet. Yeah, thank you. You, you are so sweet. Aw, yeah. thank you. <laughs> so nice, both of you. Thank, thank you so much. Nice to meet you today and enjoy my coconut. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you Wish so you much. Good luck. Have a good day. Good, uh, journey. Oh, Good thank you so YouTube. much. Thank you so much. Oh, <laughs> selfie. Another selfie. Hey, amazing. Thank you. Thank you, you can so keep the much. Change. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, man. What lovely ladies. I'm definitely glad we stopped there for a coconut water. So the coconut water was actually another dollar twenty, but I left her with yeah, like two fifty. Why not? You gotta help the local economy and we gotta spend this 20 bucks. And to be honest with you guys, I'm not even gonna lie. The reason why this money has been stretching so far is because our accommodation actually included breakfast. So this morning I woke up, had an amazing meal and I haven't actually sat down and grubbed yet. But I'm sure we're gonna get to that here in a little bit. So cheers, we got a nice coconut water and look at the inside. You actually have the, like the meat from the coconut inside. Oh yeah, that's bomb. All right, now time to hop into another tuk-tuk and make our way to the National Museum. Literally a five minute ride from the Central Market brought us here to the National Museum of Cambodia. Now the entrance is $10 for foreigners and $5 for local Cambodian citizens. So honestly, not the cheapest museum and from what I've read on Google Maps, it's actually not worth paying the $10, but we're here to discover that on our own because you can only take reviews and advice from someone like me with a grain of salt. You gotta come to these places, experience them on your own because we all have different interests and what might be boring to me might not be boring to you. So let's jump on inside. We're actually not gonna do much talking in there. We're gonna enjoy the museum and I'll give you guys my feedback, my review once we make it on out. But 10 US dollars to check out the National Museum of Cambodia and just Based on the outside, I don't know. I'm already impressed. It looks super, super beautiful. Looks like a, looks like a huge temple in my opinion. So let's jump on in. Just made it out of the museum and seriously guys, I don't know what the reviews we're talking about. This is definitely one of those places you have to visit when in the city. Inside you're gonna find all kinds of artifacts that dates back to the pre-Anchor era. But what fascinated me most was definitely all of the statues and all of the artifacts that they actually have from the Anchor era. It was really cool to see, especially after visiting Anchor Wat last week. I think that it is definitely one of those places you should visit especially if you visited Anchor or if you're planning on heading there next after Phnom Penh because this is definitely one of those cities that most people usually start their trips on when entering Cambodia or one of those places where they finish off their trips as we are here today. You know what I'm actually realizing about this video? That we're actually doing a lot more than actually makes it onto the camera. In between some of these clips, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, a whole hour goes by before we pick up the camera once again. But Right here in front of the Grand Palace, there's actually all kinds of food stalls right now. And most of them are actually selling sugar cane juice, which is very popular here in Cambodia. Let's actually cross the street without dying and get our hands on <laughs> and get our hands on some uh, sugar cane juice. Now, there's also a lot of monks walking around right now. It's definitely rush hour out here. This is super, super cool. Hello, sir. How much? Two thousand? One, please. 
So check out this cart, this whole system. He got the sugar canes right here. It's attached to the motorcycle. Uh, and right here's the machine uh, where he runs the sugar cane through. Now, usually they have them prepped already in a, in a bottle for us. Oh, I think he's actually about to crank this machine up and make us a fresh one. I'm excited. The engine is fired up. Woo! Wow, look at that. That is amazing. What a system, right guys? And he's gonna run it back in one more time to make sure we get all of that sugar cane juice out of there. Smells delicious. Oh, one more time. Three, Akon, thank you. Wow, and look at this guys, a nice, massive sugar cane juice, freshly made for, what is that Gladys, 75 US cents? Something like that? You really can't go wrong. Or can we? Let's yeah. try it. Yeah. Wow, that is delicious. Exactly what we need to continue on with the tour today. Woo. Okay, so we just made it here in front of the Royal Palace. And let me just tell you guys something. The vibes and the energy here is just unreal. There are so many families hanging around, enjoying themselves a nice lunch with the view of the Royal Palace and of course the river right behind us. Now, right now the Royal Palace is actually completely closed and it's been closed since March of 2020 when the pandemic first struck around the world and it hasn't opened up back again since that time so unfortunately we're not going to be able to go on inside and explore it as i wish we could but the entrance does cost ten dollars in case you guys do come here and the royal palace is open now i also did some reading online and i found out that this is actually where the royal family resides as well so just a little fun fact great place wow i think i'm gonna come here tomorrow and just sit down on one of these grass patches and enjoy myself a nice lunch like everybody else. The vibes are incredible. Wow, what a place, seriously. All freshened up now and as you can tell, the sun has completely set and I must say, it already feels so much better out here. You got a nice breeze coming from the river and look at the Royal Palace behind me. It is so beautiful and so well lit. Now right now we are actually across the street from the Royal Palace Gardens and here you're going to find Riverside Park and I must say, this is one of those places you definitely want to walk around, especially during the day because it makes for a nice place to take a stroll with incredible views of the river. The Tosalip River is not the most beautiful. It is very dirty, but it is something that you must visit when here in the city because it is one of the most important rivers in the country. And it's also quite interesting to see the locals fish, to see the kids bathing in that water. It's quite crazy. Now, right now, there are a lot of street food stalls set up. We're actually about to walk all the way down this boulevard. Actually, look this way. Look how far down it goes. It literally, yeah, it goes down a couple kilometers to Wat Nam, which is where we started off this video earlier today. A beautiful 15 minute walk down the riverside brought us here to the Phnom Penh Night Market, which is one of the most visited night markets by the tourists, but also a great place that the locals love to come and hang out. Now, as you can tell, the vibes are definitely there. There's a lot of music, a lot of movement going on. So I don't think we're gonna actually be filming too much inside because, well, the music and YouTube, and you guys know where I'm referring to, they don't go together. So enjoy some nice footage from the night market and I'll see you guys once we make it on out. And I'll let you guys know firsthand, is it worth visiting or is it just a tourist trap? Let's head on in there. Just made it out of the night market and I must say guys, what an incredible place to spend an evening. 
Now, I'm not gonna lie, I came here a few days ago and I was not really feeling the vibes. I was like, no, this is definitely touristic, but it was like a Thursday evening. However, right now on the weekends, my opinion has completely changed. There are nothing but locals in here. Not really any tourists at all. There's actually a huge area where all of the locals sit down on mats to enjoy a nice dinner. And there's even live music. So definitely one of those places that you should come and check out. I'm definitely glad that I came here on a Sunday because it changed my complete opinion about the place. I even left a Google review, an honest one, saying that I wasn't a big fan a few days ago. And I'm about to go back on and edit that review because my whole opinion and outlook on this market has changed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know down in the comment section. What was your favorite part of the video? What was your favorite place that we visited? And don't forget to smash that subscribe button and stay tuned because we got so many more adventures on the way and so many more amazing countries that we're gonna be exploring together over the course of the next few weeks. And I'm so excited. I think I'm actually about to turn the camera off, jump back in there and enjoy a little bit of time without the camera, without filming. And of course, I'll see you guys very soon. Later. You're always smarter.